Hey, what's up? This is Václav here. Let me show you a great new security feature coming up to Home Assistant in May. Let's assume you would happen to know the URL of my Home Assistant uh, remote access. Uh, normally you shouldn't know it, it's not a public thing. But let's assume I was not careful and you were passing by and you saw it uh, in my browser. Or, or maybe I was a little bit reckless and I was uh, using some public hotspot without a VPN and uh, someone could see uh, the web pages, the URLs of the web pages I was visiting and they got the URL from there. That would be a great spot for a NordVPN uh, commercial, but unfortunately they don't sponsor me, so uh, maybe next time. Um, or I'm a complete idiot and I would show the URL on my YouTube video, right? I would never do that obviously, but let's assume I would. <laughs> So this is my URL and this is a test URL. So as I'm publishing the video, this URL wouldn't work anymore, obviously. But I can try always. Uh, so I would take this URL and I would, uh, you would enter it in your browser. So I will simulate it by going to a in private uh, tab in my browser and I will enter it in there. And I'll go to this address and it'll say, welcome to my home. Well, you're not logged in yet. Uh, you're, not, you're not in my uh, home assistant. You will still need to know my username and my password and to log in. And my username, you might guess, but my password, that's hopefully something uh, something complex a little bit. And hopefully I have a multi-factor authentication, but maybe not. And this is a risk, right? And, and you might try a couple of passwords um, and you might try it through some social engineering. It's a security risk. And in, in the worst case, you can try different passwords and you can lock my remote access and complicate my life a little bit. So this is not a great thing to have this available. And uh, the new release is actually uh, improving this. If I go to settings, home assistant cloud, there is a new feature now. There is a remote access because I use Nabucasa and it comes with remote access. There is this uh, link of the URL you see up there. And there is new security options. Now, if I wouldn't use Nabucasa and I would use some reverse proxy on my own domain, uh, that's also possible, but uh, it's a little bit more complicated to set up. You would have to set it up in the YAML configuration. Uh, there'll be instructions in the manual. I'm not going to go there today, but it's also possible. But let me show you how easy it is if you use Nabucasa. Uh, so there is security options now. They were not there before. And it shows you three options. What happens if you would uh, enter a, this URL on a new device? Well, the uh, first default option is show the login page. So this is what uh, what's, ha what's happening today. And this is what you saw. But if I would say block remote access, block remote logins, if I would now go to this in private tab to a new browser, new device, and I will enter it, it'll say, this device is not known to Home Assistant. You need access, tough. And there is learn how to get access or not. And this is great, so you cannot access it. Now, you might ask, well, but how do I access it, right? Because I need uh, to access it from my own computer. And if this URL doesn't work, how do I access my home assistant remotely? Blocking this address doesn't help, right? Well, remember, this uh, is how what it does for a new device, for an existing device that already has been logged in, that is a valid token, in other words. And I can show you if I open a new tab in the same browser and I will enter the URL in here. I'm in my home assistant, right? I, I didn't have to log in. I'm already logged in. There is a valid token and I'm in. So that works. But I need to be able to log in for the first time, right? At least once I need to log in. Uh, so so how, how does that work, right? So there was a couple of options. First, you can log in uh, to Home Home Assistant from your home, from local access, and, and then you would have this token and you'll be able to access it remotely. I suppose you could always disable this and log in and then enable it again. It's a kind of workaround. 
or there is this uh, provide temporary login access. There's a create link. So if I click on it, it'll create a link. Uh, administrators would have to do that. So you, if you have, if you're an administrator on a home assistant or, or you would have to ask someone who is an administrator of a home assistant to create this link and send it to you. And then you open this uh, URL and you'll be able to log in. And from then on, this link wouldn't be valid anymore. It will work only once, but then the remote URL will start working. And the third option is in the future, they will um, add this uh, create link feature to the Nabucasa page. It's not there yet because we are still in a beta version. It's not being released, but it's going to be another uh, option if you have uh, access to Nabucasa. So this is a uh, block remote login. The other option, what you could do is it's the most secure. Uh, you could say you block remote logins and show nothing. <laughs> so if I would now go again to this in private, enter this, it'll say uh, this page isn't working. It doesn't work. It's like if you enter invalid URL. So this is perhaps the most secure thing. And honestly, I would recommend everyone to uh, set this in. I could perhaps even leave my URL in here and just set this up and you won't be able to log into my uh, home assistant anyway. Uh, so this is it coming up in May and uh, I would strongly recommend um, everyone to set it up because there is no reason not to do that. Okay, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.